Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Curatorial Team Facebook Live. I'm Katie Robinson Edwards, your curator and interim executive director of the museum, with Graham Durant on the camera. Hi, phone. everyone. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We are, we're always excited to talk to you, but today we're especially thrilled because next week we are opening our 30th anniversary exhibition. This will be the first show that we've had since COVID, which is huge for us, but it's also a very special show because uh, 2021 is the UMLOF's 30th anniversary, and we have borrowed 30 works from 30 collections for our 30 years, and actually it's gonna end up being much more than 30 works. So what you're seeing today is preparation. Thank you so much, Steve, for painting these pedestals and this yellow wall in our brand colors. Thank you, Wonderman. Um, we're getting ready for the show. We have lots of surprises. Graham and I, mostly Graham, have been traveling the state of Texas picking up objects from private collections and we'll be really honored to show you some things that you might never have seen before. Uh, I will start. We just put a few up for you. The Umlauf does actually, well, the city of Austin does own one of Charles Umlauf's cats from 1958, but this is a different patina and a different casting, and it has a whole story to it. But Umlauf made the cat um, in the late 50s, and his kids always called their own personal cats their pets. They called them buttons because the female cat had so-called buttons along her belly. So all we call all the Umlauf cats buttons, and he modeled it actually after a um, Egyptian cat that he had seen at the Metropolitan Museum of Art when he exhibited there in the 40s, actually. And then other really adorable things that you'll see in this show, sorry, you won't be able to touch them, but it's small scale versions of things that we have and things you've never seen. This is the Hippo Madre, cute little, hippo and many of you are familiar with lotus our hippopotamus outside and this is a smaller scale version in a different format probably one of the cuter sculptures he ever did so you'll get to see that then um, also we have this wonderful 10 inch tall version of umlauf's kiss and this is the piece that is central in the garden. It's in the island, the full version where Umlauf is in his mind competing with Auguste Rodin's kiss. So you'll get to see what it looks like at this small scale. This is from a wonderful private collection from some real Umlauf connoisseurs in Dallas. So come through and see that. And then we're also really pleased, not only do we have the big cat, but we have this adorable smaller version from a private collection. This one is from Austin. So you'll get to see different scales. And actually, if you look at these cats there, they're also completely different faces. And we'll give you a little bit more information about this. We've got all kinds of programming coming up with this show. And then I'm gonna move. Graham, you can talk or I'll just move over. <laughs> You might have been wondering what this thing is. Graham has been working very, very hard around the clock, making a really cool installation. Since again, this is the first time the Umlauf will have been open uh, inside the gallery. And he has made this gigantic, guess what letter it is for our 30th anniversary. And during Garden Party, if you get tickets to Garden Party, Thursday, June 7th, you will be able to have your photo taken. Put the you in you. You belong here. All kinds of crazy stuff. So um, please get your Garden Party tickets. They are available only for a few more days. We're not going to be selling them on the day of because we've got to do all our paperwork. We just have a few left. As you know, Garden Party is one big event now. Uh, I think it starts six to nine, but it's all on the um, website. So snag your tickets, come see the show, you'll get a chance to see it, and come put the you and you. Thanks so much.